Hi everybody, Patty Ann here. Hey, I'm going to switch over my printer now. They call it converting, but to me it's not that big of a deal. But I'm using this Cosmos ink. Uh, this is the first time I'm getting into sublimation and I've heard this is a really good ink to use. So I have it linked down below for you so you can find it. And of course, as usual, I appreciate when you use my links because it helps me be able to uh, fund this channel and all of my groups. So anyway, here's what you get in the kit. You get the four bottles of ink. You get the syringes. And in here are the refillable cartridges that go into my printer. So this looks like it's really, really easy to me. The first thing I'm going to do is just get a, use my fingernail maybe, and break these apart. There we go. All right, so the next thing that I've been instructed to do is <clears throat> you take out this top tab right here because that's what you're going to be filling up. So you take this out. This looks different than what it looked like in the directions because eventually you'll take out this bottom one as well, but not yet. So the next thing I have to do then is just to get out one of my um, syringes. And since I took off the yellow cap, well, the syringe and the needle. I hear these needles are really pointy, so I'm going to be careful. Put that on there and take that off. This one doesn't look like it's pointy. It's like it's really uh, blunt, actually. Let's see, I need a pair of scissors. Where are all of my scissors? Well, let's see, maybe I can do it with my fingers. All right, it's a red bottle, which I don't need yet, but I do need the yellow bottle. Now, I don't think it says you have to shake them or anything like that. Let me double check and see if it says anything. No direct sunlight, keep out of children's reach, do not drink, <laughs> and store at room temperature. All right, so then from what I understand, all you have to do now is take this cap off and <gasps> shoot. This one is different than the other ones. The other ones had like a foil covering here and all the guy did was put this down through the foil and then suck up the ink. So you just suck up the ink slowly. And go a little up past the 10 milliliter mark, he said, because then that will give you just enough to fill into the cartridge. Now, it was told that when you put this in the cartridge, you should aim it at an angle down toward the side down there and just slowly press this in here. This part's the easy part. The next part's not hard it just takes some time because what you have to do is to keep running your old ink out of your uh, printer so that this ink will then be in so now I have to replace this little plug here and that one is done other than when I go over to my printer I'm going to take this out when I have it installed so now just let this one be here get rid of the yellow one for temporarily get out another one put the lid back on this obviously boy that stuff's going to last quite a long time I think now I guess I'll do the red so again I'll take out this little cap right here so this is what they talk about when they're saying converting not too hard right and the only other thing is, like I said, is I will just keep hitting to uh, continue on my printer until all of the bad, not bad ink, but the old uh, ink is out. So again, I'm just going to suck this up into here. And go a little bit past the 10 milliliter mark. Where is the mark? There it is. Okay. 
Then I'll bring it into this one. Here's the hole. I'm going to angle this in so it goes back toward the back and just slowly push this in. And when that's done, I got ink on myself, I'll put the little uh, plug back in. I can see that's going to be my biggest problem is probably losing my plugs eventually. <laughs> There we go. And that one is done as well. So let's go to the next one. The next color will be the blue. This is so easy, you guys. The hardest part for changing something into sublimation is going to be finding a uh, printer to use. Although I did see one yesterday for just $50. Unfortunately, it was too far away from where I live. Would have taken about seven hours round trip to go get it. But I've been watching on Marketplace near where I live to see if I could find any. Whoops. All right, here's the blue. Again, just take this off. Okay. And suck this up. This is actually not blue, it's called cyan. And the red is actually magenta. The yellow is yellow. Now what I did forget to do was to take out the plug, so I'm going to have to do that right this minute. Take this plug out. Let's move this so I don't spill it. Take out this plug. And take the syringe. Aim it at an angle towards the back. And just slowly push this in. That one's done. Put the plug back in. Like that. And the blue is done. Put this on. Now for the black, I'm assuming I'm going to have to do this a couple of times because uh, I wonder where the think plug is you take out of this one. Maybe this? Can bewildered a little bit. Let's look at this for a second and see how they match up. So the plug, okay, that's different. So the plug that you feel must be here, and this is the one you take out, I guess. Well, let's try it. I should have watched the video a little bit more. So I'm going to take this out. I think I'll just do it the other way that I'm, yeah, I think I'll just do it this way. So where's the black? Here it is. Okay. Open the black. The black looks brown, and I've heard that said before. And actually, there's various ways to tell whether your heat was too hot based on the color of your final product, or if it was too uh, cool. Or it might have something to do with the pressure, too. I don't know. I'm just learning all of this. But as I learn, I'll teach you what I learn. <laughs> So a little bit up past the 10 milliliter, although it doesn't matter as much for this one because I'm going to stick this in here and, pr okay, that doesn't feel right. Hmm. I don't think that's where I was supposed to be putting that. Let me put that plug back on there for a sec. And see if I just messed up a little bit. Let me try this plug. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I should have been putting it in there. One. Well, hopefully I didn't mess it up. Two. I think I can probably put three in here. Maybe one more. I feel like I better stop there. I put in four. And then that one bit in the beginning. So there's that. And there it is. Yeah. Okay, then the next thing I would do is I would take them over to my machine and install them. Okay, the first thing I need to tell you was when you put the ink into your printer, and I'm assuming you know how to put cartridges in. If you don't, there's plenty of YouTube videos about that. But the next thing you have to do is you have to clean the printer heads. Okay, and the way, and you just follow the directions that are given to you. And uh, I'll have a link to a good video for you down below that has good information for you. But anyway, I had to run my cleaner eight times until I finally got a good printout right here. So don't be surprised if you have to do it eight times. Okay, just do that on regular typing paper. Don't ruin your good stuff. Speaking of the good stuff, this is the stuff that I've used today. I got 100 sheets of it. Not exactly sure, remember, I don't exactly remember where I got it. I'll have to look that up for you. But it worked really, really well. This is what it looks like. It looks blue on one side and white on the other side, like this. You print on the white side. Okay, so after you've printed it, and what I did, like I said, was I put an offset around mine and cut it out with my silhouette machine. And you might be thinking, well, that's not a very nice, bright print, Patty Ann. I thought they were, like, really vibrant. Well, they are. This is the way it'll look on your sublimation paper. Remember, it's on the white side. However, when you put it on your shirt, check this out what happens. Here's this, and then I'll show you this shirt that I made for my granddaughter, and I made one for my grandson. So, now you can see how much more vibrant, let me get the sleeve out, the colors are once it's heat pressed on. And where I bought this shirt, it told me exactly what temperature to use, what setting, how long to do it, and it was a light pressure. Turned out beautifully, I'd say. So I have this extra one that I can do for a friend. And then with these little ones that I made, oh, d notice please that this is mirrored. You know, when you put it down like that on the shirt to be ironed on, it has to be mirrored. And then on the sleeve, since Layla and Levi are twins, I decided to put Mickey and Minnie on each of their sleeves just like that with this one right here. And again, you can see the vibrancy that you get with the real thing that's ironed on. So this one was Layla's. And then for Levi, I made him this one. Now I'm going to give you a word of warning, <laughs> something I did wrong. Uh, I don't know if you can see these little red lines here. I thought I cut them all off, but I missed them. Just did it with scissors. Here's why they're here. I decided to put an offset around this so that I could cut it and know exactly how I was placing it on my shirt, which is perfect. The only problem is I accidentally made the weight of the line on the outside of the offset one. If you want to have a line around this so you can see what's happening and you do not want it to print with your printer, you need to have that 
line color or line weight of a zero. I had mine a one, so it stays on here. But again, these guys are three. I don't think they'll care. And here on Levi's is the same little thing that I've done on the sleeve. So do know that you can do this as print then cut, or you could do this on the iron on paper. You know, the iron on paper that I showed last week, I think. It was the stretchy, oh gosh, I should have had that out for you. Okay, it was the Jet Pro SS heat transfer paper. So if you don't have sublimation available to you, what you could do is do it on a piece of paper like this and heat press it onto your uh, shirt. And I'll put a link up above and at the end of this video for the video that shows how I did this. So thanks a lot for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when I come up with a new video. And also um, share it with your friends. Share it across the social media if you're able. So again, thanks for joining me. Bye, you guys.